we have a new penguin chick named Chicory. We chose that name because, well, you know, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. So the name kind of, you know, with our New Orleans theme, you know, coffee and chicory, kind of stuck because of chicory. So it, you know, works for a guy or girl. Uh, it's starting to lose us down. You see the adult, uh, or the juvenile feathers, I should say. Uh, they'll have this feather, uh, this feather coloration for about 18 months. It'll be a blue-gray color compared to the adults that have the black and white tuxedos. So, very typical um, in about... After 18 months, it's going to shed all those juvenile feathers and then become a black and white penguin with that black and white tuxedo we're all familiar with. Well, so there's a, a major problem right now with overfishing of their primary food source. 80% of the food source of the African black-footed penguin currently is the Cape anchovy. In the mid-1960s, it used to be sardines, herring, uh, all these other different species of fish. A lot of these were fish to extinction in and around South Africa. By the mid-1980s, it was primarily Cape anchovy. As I mentioned, these guys are, you know, one of the most endangered penguins in the world, the African black-footed penguin. And that's a multi there's a multitude of reasons for this. But um, we don't want to just let the colony breed and produce, you know, all the chicks that they want, because you're going to eventually wind up with, you know, cousins breeding with cousins, inbreeding. You're going to have way too many one family lineage and not enough of another. 